Now I want to solve it first for you people. This was yes. If I just wanted this to be clear to your mind that the motion is like this. Now let's come back to the problem. So please tell me if I assume instantaneous axis of rotation here, can I say mg normal reaction spring force? Can you tell me? If I displace it by d theta, will every point be displaced by d theta? About this axis, what is this distance? What is this distance? Two r. So what will be this displacement? Two r d theta. Two r d theta. Yes. So how much is the spring compressed? Two r d theta. What is the force in the spring then? Two r d theta. This is the force acting in this direction. I am assuming d theta to be very small. And since the spring has been compressed, so it is exerting a force in this direction. Please understand that. So spring force is this way. Now, mg normal reaction vertical forces are balanced. There is some friction force acting here because it is doing pure rolling. It can be it is static friction. It can be left or right. It doesn't matter. Now, if I choose this axis to be instantaneous axis of rotation, tell me what is the net torque. About this point, due to mg, due to normal reaction, due to friction, net torque is zero. zero. Net torque is zero. There is only one force which will have torque. What is that force? Fast. So that torque will be k into two r d theta. This is the force. This force into perpendicular distance is two r. Right. Net torque. This will be the net torque. I have given clockwise d theta. I have given it angular displacement in clockwise direction, and this torque is in anti-clockwise anti-clockwise direction. So the net torque is restoring in nature. So we'll write it in words, and then we'll say net torque is this. What do I do next? So it's equal to I. Have. Yes. Put it equal to I alpha. Alpha will be torque divided by I. What is I? I about this axis by two, mr square by 2 plus mr square parallel axis theorem so it will be um, this is alpha and put alpha equal to what and d theta gets cancelled you solve you get time period just honestly raise your hands and tell me how many of you have understood the solution to this honestly sir i was thinking um, when it does a d theta displacement then mg would also move yes i was waiting for this question Mg will move. Yes, yes. Uh, can anyone answer this? Mg will move this way, and now she is saying Mg will have a torque. Yes, Ashwarya, this is the question. She is saying when it will rotate, d theta, Mg will reach here. So now Mg is here. So in the net torque about this point is this. So we can also not uh, compensate because we keep on touching. So d theta is much smaller, probably that's why. नहीं बट उन्होंने एक्स का भी तो ली दीजिए बहुत छोटा है तो और भी नहीं है तो बेटा 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 the center of mass of the cylinder and the point of contact they will lie along the same vertical line for sure so even if when he is right when kunal is saying ke hum log maan rahe hain ke d theta is very small to hum ye maan rahe hain jo point of contact hai it is not just one yes ye agar shift ho bhi raha hai to utna hi mg yahan shift ho raha hai ra ye ho gaya point aur is pure region ko hum ek point of contact maan rahe hain please understand this Actually, uh, please understand, Ashwarya. This was a very intelligent question that you asked. I really appreciate it. I would have skipped this. I this thought was there that I'll after doing this, I'll ask them this question. And finally, I might have skipped that. And finally, you pointed it out. I appreciate it. Please understand this. The first point of contact, the second point of contact. Actually, they are little distant. R d theta is this distance. But since we are assuming this to be a very small displacement, so this whole region is being considered as one point. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So this is the explanation. Good. 
uh, now everyone in, uh, has understood this. Now again, it became very easy because you again got a access just about you got pure rotation. So pure rotation is fastest. But now just listen to this attentively. Had I studied the not the instantaneous access of rotation, had I studied it, like for me, it used to be difficult to believe what Ashwarya pointed out right now. I used to be very confused about this. In no book they have explained this. It will be small. It will be small, but the compression in the spring is 2R d theta. Na? So we are interested in the compression. So it doesn't matter ke wo hai pe. It will be small, you are right. It will be equally small with a very, but the compression is finally 2R d theta and the force is K into 2R d theta. That is true. Are you clear? Now let me tell you. For me also, personally, this used to be indigestible. I used to find it very I got stuck on this for 3-4 months. Like school teachers, you can't expect them to explain this to you very clearly. You go and try this. Forget about school teachers, even if you have very good, some teacher whom you know, will find it very difficult to explain. So he'll try to give you some or the other logic. Now just pay attention. Then I used to solve it by an alternative method where there is no such assumption. I used to do what? Please pay attention. And again, I will get the same answer. Then I started believing that yes, this explanation is logical. Okay, we are making an approximation and it is logical because the right one with no, see what is the right ex, uh, 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 method where there is no approximation but uh, uh, this thing, that method is little lengthy, just see this, I'll do it for you, you people are going to get that privileged treatment that you people just watch, watch and wait and see it, I'll do it for you, just pay attention, I want to be fast so I don't want you to do every step. Keep seeing this. Now, I have given it some displacement. 2R d theta is the compression, the force acting due to the spring on this. Here is K into 2R d theta. This is one force. Center of mass has displaced. Center of mass is, say, somewhere here. Center of mass, pay acceleration, maybe ACM. Mg is the force. Friction force. My forces ko abuse se kar deta hoon. Sorry. Ye ho gaya A force. Ye ho gaya Mg. Ye ho gaya normal reaction. And friction force. Now see this. I'll write net force in horizontal direction as K into 2R d theta plus friction force. Any other horizontal force? Say M A C M A C and learn this, learn this method also. Second is N A M G minus N is equal to zero. Vertical direction by center of mass has no acceleration in vertical direction. Third is net torque is equal to alpha about center of mass. Torque about center of mass due to the spring is K into K into two R D theta force into R net torque anti clockwise. And due to friction, it is clockwise. So it will be F into R. Torque due to this is anti clockwise about center of mass, and torque due to friction is clockwise. So they will be opposite in direction. So F into R is equal to what? Net torque is equal to what? I, Only. I alpha I, I is MR square by 2. And what will be the relationship between A and alpha? Pure rolling. Easy to add right. Now you solve this equation will not be needed. Now you solve these three equations. One, two, three. But it's maybe we have done the same thing. We've taken it as two R D theta, but actually we are moving the point also. This point, no? We moved it so it cannot remain two R D theta. It will change. No, which point which point will change? What are you saying? I am saying center of mass. Sir, we have taken 2rd theta and we have assumed that the point will remain on the high point. This one? Yes. And we have moved it. Okay, no, no, no. Forget about this point. Just tell me, I have made the center of mass displaced by dx. Yes, but dx will turn on the right. Huh. And, and there is a rotation also which is like R d theta. 
so this displacement is dx this displacement is rd theta so the total will be dx plus rd theta and dx is equal to rd theta so the compression will be 2 dx now just see i am trying to make you understand that if i study the rotational rotational and the translational motion separately now just see this now either you find acm in terms of dx remove d theta find acceleration of center of mass in terms of dx or you find angular acceleration alpha in terms of d theta so you remove dx so we have actually uh, uh, d theta here so we will not talk about dx at all so we will remove uh, from these equations should i do it so i'll get alpha in terms of d theta and put it equal to omega square d theta so one of the two one motion is translation one is rotation both will have the same time period so if i use the rotational motion i find alpha in terms of d theta i'll get the same answer for time period as if i find acm in terms of dx displacement of the center of mass are you getting what i'm saying yes, sir. Yes, sir. now so anyways just little complicated question which needs a little clarity aap isko note kar lijiye ye wali equations go yes, home and try point, it point huh? move kar rahi to fir agar hum point move kar rahe hai to fir hamari so point nahi move kar raha hai wait this so, point one minute one minute this point should have due to translation should have moved by dx this side and due to rotation it would have moved behind by rd theta so actually this point remains here only due to transition dynamic thoda side shift kiya hua tha to isliye normal aur mg ko equal karne ke liye exactly